Today, I'm talking about Payload CMS's architecture, a really awesome platform for modern businesses looking to create a website or application. What does it do? How is it set up? And why should I use it? Hey, this is Chris with Westside Technology Solutions. Today, I'm diving into what Payload CMS is and how it fits into the headless CMS landscape. If you've seen my channel before, you know I'm a big fan of Payload. Payload CMS is a powerful, flexible, developer-friendly content management system that stands out among other headless CMS options. Unlike traditional systems, a headless CMS separates the content management backend from the front end presentation, allowing you to manage content without being tied to a specific way of displaying it. So I'm gonna start by talking about some key concepts in Payload CMS. First is the collections. These represent different types of content Payload can store, defining the structure of your data. It can be anything like pages, blog posts, user profiles, whatever it is. They help you efficiently manage various content types within one system. Next is globals. Globals are unique one-off pieces of content used for elements like website navigation, theme settings, or top-level metadata. Unlike collections which have multiple items, globals only have one instance. They're really important for reusable templates like headers, footers, or navigation menus, ensuring consistency across your site. And then of course, there's the building blocks, the fields. Fields define the type of data that you're working with. Uh, as you can see, there are very many different types here, from simple text to complex multimedia. Different field types allow precise customization of your data structure in globals and collections to meet your specific needs. And then finally, there's hooks. Hooks let you tap into payloads actions to perform extra logic or modify operations. This is so important for custom integrations and extending functionality. With hooks, you can automate tasks like sending emails after a new document is created or adjusting data operations, adding power and control to your CMS for a dynamic user experience. So the next thing I wanted to talk about as far as architecture are the options you have for database integration. Payload CMS supports multiple databases, including MongoDB and Postgres, allowing developers to choose the solution that best fits their project. SQL Lite was even just released with 3.0 earlier this week, which is super exciting. MongoDB is great for situations with dynamic fields, providing an efficient way to store and retrieve data without complex schemas. Postgres is ideal for applications needing a relational database offering features like JSONB columns for handling nested structures. So what are these adapters and how do they work exactly? Adapters are thin layers that translate payloads internal data structures into specific formats required by each database. This means each database can work efficiently with payload CMS without developers worrying about underlying complexity. Currently, you can use this adapter for MongoDB and this adapter for Postgres. Like I mentioned too, with the new release of 3.0 this week, SQL Lite is supported as well. Configuring these adapters is pretty straightforward. For example, for MongoDB, your configuration might look like this, where you've just got to put in your database URI that can come from an ENV file. For Postgres, it's just as easy. Just a few lines of code, connect your database, and get it ready for action. And don't forget the key features and hooks that Payload CMS offers for customizing database interactions. You can even use hooks like before schema in it and after schema in it to extend or modify your database schema according to your project's requirements. Customization options such as auto pluralization and various connect and transaction settings make it easy to tailor database interactions to your need. As far as interacting with the data, there are a few options as well. Payload CMS provides two main options, REST and GraphQL, catering to different needs. The REST API allows you to perform standard operations, create, read, update, and delete content really easily. It includes automatic pagination, depth, sorting, helping you manage large data sets efficiently. Plus, you can also customize your endpoints to add any additional functionality that you might need. And secondly, there's the GraphQL API. GraphQL is a query language for APIs that gives you more flexibility in how you retrieve data. With Payload's GraphQL API available at slash API slash GraphQL and highly customizable through configuration, you can perform both queries and mutations for collections and globals, allowing really efficient data manipulation. 
When comparing REST and GraphQL, REST uses standard HTTP endpoints for querying and mutating data, while GraphQL lets you structure flexible queries. With GraphQL, you can ask for exactly what you need, reducing the amount of data transferred. Finally, there is the local API as well, uh, which is really useful for fetching or mutating data inside of your server components or your server functions. Access control is really important in any content management system, and in payload CMS, it really does shine. With granular permission capabilities, you can dictate access at a very specific level, even down to individual fields. This means that you can control what each user can see or edit, ensuring only authorized users have access to sensitive information. One standout feature is the dynamic user interface of the admin panel. It adapts based on the access controls that you've got defined. If a user isn't authorized to perform a certain action, that option does not show up for them. This is obviously awesome for security and creates a cleaner, more intuitive experience. And then when it comes to authentication, Payload CMS employs some pretty robust methods. It uses HTTP only cookies to securely store user data, protecting it from cross-site scripting attacks and utilizes JSON web tokens or JWTs generated during login, refresh, and me operations, allowing secure authentication. For third-party integrations, API keys provide a convenient way to manage unique access without expiration worries. So the next thing I wanted to talk about as far as the architecture of Payload CMS is the customizability and extensibility. What makes Payload CMS stand out in terms of customizability and extensibility? Payload CMS can be tailored to your specific needs, allowing businesses to leverage the system in ways that best suit their objective. The first thing I mention here is the customizable UI. With Payload, you can tweak the admin interface to reflect your brand's identity, colors, logos, and overall design. This means your team interacts with a tailored workspace that feels aligned with your brand. You actually get access to customizable CSS and SAS, giving you extra control over the admin panel styling. In content management, Payload CMS can handle really complex content across multiple languages. If your business focuses on a global outreach, this feature could be really important. You can schedule content releases and manage different content versions, ensuring everything is precisely where and when you need it. Regarding extensibility, Payload supports plugins and extensions to enhance functionality that matters to your business or project. This framework allows the use of hooks and middleware, making it easy to implement custom logic tailored to your workflow. As you can see, there are several plugins here that come with Payload CMS. Otherwise, there's instructions here on how to build your own, no problem. So what would you use Payload for? Well, given that Payload CMS is an application framework that gives businesses the flexibility to create tailored digital solutions, its customization capabilities allow developers to build exactly what their project demands. So here would be a few use cases I'd consider Payload CMS for. The first one would be an e-commerce store. Payload CMS really excels in e-commerce. You can tailor it for any online store, making it a fantastic option for businesses looking to elevate their shopping experience. With custom product management features, you can handle everything from unique product attributes to inventory tracking within a streamlined interface. You can improve the user experience with dynamic layouts and personalized recommendations, leading to higher conversion rates. Also, Payload comes with a Stripe integration Integration with a payment gateway can offer a really smooth checkout process that customers would expect. Another great use case is obviously content management. For content management, Payload CMS supports a wide variety of content types, helping you organize and present information effectively. Its block-based layouts and schema-based approach allow users to manage complex data structures very easily. This adaptability lets businesses keep their content fresh and engaging. It can be anything from blogs to articles or even multimedia presentations. The versatility doesn't end there. It's also a great fit for other industries. For example, you could create an interactive educational platform that engage learners with rich text content and collaborative features. It also lends itself well to dynamic web applications like forums or social networks where real-time interactions are really important. 
I'd even use it for a custom web application in the right situation. I may even have a project here where I'm building a game in React Native powered by Payload CMS. So the last thing I wanna talk about today is integrating Payload CMS with front-end frameworks and other services. As a headless CMS, Payload provides the content backbone for modern applications, and its easy integration makes the functionality and user experience even better. First, obviously, I'm gonna mention the Next.js integration. With the Payload 3.0 release this week, integrating Payload CMS into your Next.js's application is easier than ever. You can use the Payload local API that we talked about earlier within your server components and functions grabbing content really efficiently. So what else is supported? Well, honestly, I guess whatever you can think of. Astro, SvelteKit, Remix, React Native, whatever you wanna use. These frameworks are popular for their speed and ease of use. Integration with Payload CMS is straightforward, thanks to the lean and flexible setup of Payload 3.0. This enables developers to leverage each framework's unique features while benefiting from Payload CMS's power. And the benefits of this integration include smooth data synchronization with your front end through REST or GraphQL APIs. This allows your applications to retrieve and display content super efficiently. Server-side rendering and incremental static regeneration boost page load times and enhance SEO by ensuring search engines see the most up-to-date content as well. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I'm really excited about Payload CMS. I really do think it's a great option for startups, medium-sized businesses, or even entrepreneurs aiming to create a digital product. Thanks for tuning in today to my review of the architecture and some of these great features as well as use cases. And don't forget, if you wanna talk a little bit more about how Payload CMS's architecture can elevate your project, I'd love for you to reach out. I can help you strategize, build a customized solution that propels your project to new heights. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.